Hi, I'm your host Bharat Bhushan for today's video PT listening test strategy to score high 79 plus summarize spoken text. Alright, so in this video, summarize spoken text will let you know all the strategies and tips and tricks how you can get high score in this particular video. Remember guys, in this word in this video you will get marks for two things. One is your writing, another one is your listening yes you can score for two things in this particular video and i'll let you know how you can do that please like and subscribe my channel bharat vision for more pt videos click on bell icon for more updates yes guys please support my channel bharat vision because i'm i i like that everybody should get success in this PTU exam and for that please subscribe my channel so that I'll be motivated enough for creating new videos develop new strategies for you guys to get high score in PT exam what is summarized spoken text so summarized spoken text is a long answer listening task type that tests your listening and writing skills and you will get the marks for both correct so marking is like because you will be writing as well and you will be listening as well that's why you are getting marks for your writing and listening okay and the marks for writing you will you will get those marks in your writing section and for listening or you will get the marks for your listening section only you need to summarize the main points of its short lecture write your summary in 50 to 70 words only otherwise you lose your marks you need to do a lot of practice that you should write all your summary into f from 50 to 70 words only not beyond that if your mark if your uh, summary uh, summary get lower than 50 even 49 you lose your marks and if you write summary with 71 words again you will lose your marks so be very careful about this you should always practice at your home while responding and you should be aware in my next coming up video i'll let you know the for template for writing summary spoken text so that follow that template and you will get your desired score with that template in the exam you will attempt two to three summarized spoken text so it depends on your exam to exam sometimes you get two or sometimes you get three so it depends okay next summarized spoken text question format you should be aware that what kind of format you will get in your exam so that's i'm trying to explain here that your exam uh, will have four section in this question type summarize spoken text the first section is your question uh, question instructions on the top side read the instructions carefully which will be provided on the top because those instructions carrying very important information for your question type and you should not avoid that always read the instructions carefully as i said in my old videos in every section Below instructions, you will have the audio text box with volume control. You, yes, guys, you can control the volume as per your convenience of your audio in this particular question type. Then you will have the text box where you need to type your answer. Guys, you can use your text box for giving the answer as well as taking the notes. You can take your notes by two ways. One is you can use the text box. Other ways you can use your Erasable notebook which will be provided in the, your exam if you are good in typing then I suggest that you use this uh, Text box in my case. I use this text box and I got a really good response with that So try practice at your home the what will be the best way you can choose as per your convenience and Finally cut copy paste buttons will be there so that you can copy some text you want to reuse in your answer and you can you can make that uh, so that you can be fast in your typing so you can use those cut copy paste options as per your convenience 
all right so in this particular image you can see all the four sections the first is your instructions for your question then you have audio status box and volume control then you have uh, you can type your answer in the, your text box and finally you have your cut copy paste buttons that use you can use as per your convenience for editing now we are going to talk about strategies to summarize spoken text question type so first strategy is you should be alert and ready you should be alert with the hearing tone once you start hearing you should be get involved in your hearing okay and you should be ready to take notes so you will you will hear the sound from 12 second and the audio will begin be ready to take notes on your visible note note board book, booklet or if you are good in typing on computer typing in the text box and use those points in your answer be very careful while you start hearing and try to see the information been spoken in the audio yes guys this third point is very important for this question type because if you try to get involved with the with that hearing you can remember the hearing the content what you hear uh, once after the audio will get stopped okay and because you cannot note down each and every point of that audio clip okay so you can remember that information in your mind by creating some image of that particular tag or hearing basically okay so how you can do that for example if the audio is related to hospital so you can try to get involved in that information suppose you just sitting in that hospital and watching everything doctors nurses the building the reception operation theater everything so that way you can easily get involved in that information and you can remember that information after even the audio will get stopped so in that way you can summarize very efficiently your answer by remembering all those things with your noted points so try to do this kind of practice at your home second strategy is make notes for all the key points that is very very important that you can note each and every important point of that particular audio clip if you can not not the key point then you will definitely lose your important marks so when you hear prepare notes of the key and supporting ideas and as well as trying to see that information it is not possible that you can note down every point from the audio so don't try that use keywords short words symbols and arrows to get the most significant ideas and to check how the ideas are organized you should know the structure of the audio how that information audio has been started with a topic then there will be some explanation examples and the conclusion in, in that in that's this way the audio you can see or hear in a structured way actual note taking will ensure that your summary has all the key points when the recording stops see your notes while the audio is fresh in your mind definitely you have to check that whatever you hear is you are you noted down each and everything or not try to remember the information and finally plan how you will present the information you should introduce your topic first that way you can plan on telling you the structure of your answer that you should in introduce your topic first the definition of the topic like as, as i said uh, hospital the hospital what is hospital over there okay then you can add some examples or uh, some explanation which has been given in that particular audio and finally get, give a good conclusion which will which which includes your introduction as well as with your explanation and examples the, the so that kind of conclusion you should have and in that these four things you can include each and every point which you 
heard in that particular audio. Now third strategy is start your writing for that particular summary. You have heard the audio, you prepared the notes, now you have to write. After the audio stops, you have 10 minutes only to write your summary in the text box. So divide that 10, 10 minutes, like 2 minutes you just plan, 5 minutes you can write, another 2 minutes you can correct any mistake and 3 minutes at the end, your 2 to 3 minutes, you just review it. Okay. Use your notes to summarize all the key points and add as many supporting details or examples you hear in the audio. As I said, you first you give the defini uh, definition of the topic, then you can include your examples and explanations. Maximize uh, maximum marks you will be gained if all related points of the audio are mentioned in your summary. Keep to the word limit of 50 to second wo 70 words only or you will lose your marks if you do not do that. Save 2 to 3 minutes at the end to check your work for grammar and spelling. Remember mit mistakes will lose your important marks. After 10 minutes the screen will stop responding and immediately click on next button. Do not waste your time once 10 minutes is over. Now how you should prepare for this uh, task summarize spoken text at your home before taking the real exam. So guys at your home it is very mandatory that you should practice a lot at least 20-30 times before taking the real exam for this particular question type. The first thing you should do at your home that cultivate your own method for quick note taking. There are several methods for taking notes so cultivate your own method. Choose on your own abbreviations and symbols and practice using them so th they become spontaneous at in your exam. Get some broadcast of lectures with a transcript. Yeah, transcript is important so that you can check your answer with that particular broadcast. High point the sing signal words that specify the main points and the examples. You should point out all these things, the sig signal words, okay, therefore, there, these, though, he, then, these kind of words. They are the signal words, okay. So you should high point these things. And the examples, in the, if they are an example or evidence or oppo opposing opinion, then listen for them in the audio to help your understanding. Okay. Try to listen news or on news channels and make the notes from the those news. This is another way you can choose as per your convenience. Now exercise writing grammatical correct sentences. This is very important. Simple sentences that communicate meaning will score better than complex sentence with errors. Remember guys, don't try to write complex sentence, sentences because even with your uh, simple sentences you get high marks. The important thing is you are, you are mentioning each and every important point related to that. The best response use brief correct sentence that communicate meaning clearly. That is the key. Okay. Get podcast of lectures online and listen to 40 seconds of a lecture noting the main points, words. Then stop the audio and write a sentence that summarizes the main points of what you hear. That kind of uh, practice you can do at your home. Okay, repeat this twice until you have listened to 90 seconds. Then join your sentences into a summary of 50 to 70 words only. So you ch you need to listen for 90 seconds but you can break down complete 90 seconds into 30 40 seconds like that okay but you have to complete uh, you should do the complete listening for 90 seconds that is the best way to practice at your home then join your sentence into a summary of 50 to 70 words only exercise until you can listen to 90 seconds without stopping the audio 
so first at the first day first time it is very it is it may be difficult for you that you can know lesson for 90 seconds continuously and can put your focus on that so it's better to chunk make a chunk of that audio initially but after once you are uh, comfortable with that you can use uh, you can try to listen the entire audio for 90 seconds summarize two or three short lectures and time yourself at 10 minutes for each summary okay so you, that way you can practice at your home finally some tips and tricks to summarize spoken text these are the major tips that really it really can help you to get high score the first step is that check that your grammar vocabulary and spelling should be accurate always take 1 to 2 minutes at the end to review your summary especially for grammar and vocabulary and spelling ask question to yourself that you have used the right tense have you started each sentence with a capital letter this is very important used commas in list and ended with a full stop or no ask this kind of question to yourself then immediately you can these are the do's and don'ts for your question uh, summarize spoken text check your summary should have the key points and important supporting points as per your notes when you are summarizing note down the key stages of the lecture as i said in the beginning of this video that you should hear the uh, clearly the introduction then examples explanation and the conclusion always spare time to review your answer because if you spend one or two minutes to review your answer it always be good to score high so that's all in this video please share your feedback in the comment box if you like the channel if you like this video then definitely uh, say something about the what you would like most in this video if you dislike then also give your comments the what you dislike in this video please subscribe my channel support uh, this channel bharat bhushan for more pt videos for all the question types mock test exercise practice lot of things will be coming up guys in this channel so be with me be with bharat bhushan for all new updates thank you very much thank you